Hello um, all my friends, nice to have you back. This is a pretty quick um, catch up uh, junk journal September um, video. Uh, it's really a walkthrough, although I will do a tiny little bit of craft with me, but this is a very simple, um, just sort of done this this morning. Uh, it's Wednesday, I think it's about nine o'clock and I've got to be at work at seven at uh, 10 o'clock. So um, I've just spent um, an hour or so in the craft room um, and doing day five and six, which is happiest day and important. And I've joined those together because um, this day was important. It was my son's wedding day. Um, so I put the uh, prompt here under the envelope flap from the previous page. So that's hidden. Um, this was already in uh, Sarah's journal, so I really liked that. I also liked the way it looked with this plant. However, I did want a photograph. So the other side, um, I printed a photograph, not very good print. I had the wrong settings, but it, it doesn't bother me for a junk journal. Um, so this is my son and his new wife. Uh, I've cut a little bit of tea dyed paper here. Uh, to cover this writing and just do my journaling there. Um, I sort of messed up this corner. I wanted a bit of gold because I wanted to put, this was my name um, place setting. Uh, my daughter-in-law cut these out for everybody on her cricket or cry cut. Um, so I wanted to bring some gold on this side. I originally stamped today was happy um, straight onto the page and then tried to watercolour it with some gold watercolour which looked awful and the ink smudged so um, I went I had to paint over it and I used some gold paint and some mica powder and then restamped over the top of that just to bring the gold in and I had some of these gold glittery stars so I've got my three quite often three things the same look nice on a page it sort of gives it continuity um, probably not the best placement but it kind of worked for this um, so that was my photograph I found this little quote on a project life card which said if you're happy then I'm also happy and we can be happy together so as I say I liked it this way and I liked it this way um, because this is the important side really I think I was going, I thought I'm going to leave it um, this way up. And then these little bits here were grating on me <laughs> because they, they don't tone in. So um, I went through my scraps and I found a little scrap of paper. And I just cut out two little pieces of um, purple card, it is really cardstock just to go over those um, to tone in with these flowers on this side of the page and I think that it's these sort of little touches really that um, for me anyway bring a page together um, I like the colours to either coordinate or tone uh, sometimes I choose them to be complementary opposite Those would have been easier to cut if I'd have done it before I stuck that um, little bit of card down, but I didn't. So there we are. So that to me, honestly, it's just a very simple, unsophisticated page, but I like the way it looks. I like that it commemorates what was a beautiful, happy day. Um, it was June this year. It was a time when um, life was a bit chaotic and things were changing rapidly with regards to my mother's care. Um, so this day was a very, very happy oasis. It had been put off since last year. Um, it wasn't the wedding that they planned last year. It was a COVID wedding. So it was a very small, very intimate affair, um, but just lovely. So thank you for watching this and um, I'll be back soon with some more.